No, I just, uh, you know, I, I see the SEC, the SEC uh, media days, you know, on college and so on and so forth. And I think it's just an awesome idea to know, to put together something to get these kids in this district, because we feel like it's one of the best districts in the state of Virginia, a chance to get more publicity. I think it's a chance to kind of get our district out there a little bit more. Um, I think it's a very competitive district. And uh, you guys kind of know the history of the district, you know, how it uh, has been over the last 10, 15 years. And uh, I just thought it was something good. I think it's something that we can build in the future to make it even bigger and, and get some sponsors and things like that. But I just think it's a great opportunity to get guys in front of you guys. It gives an opportunity for maybe, you know, you guys to get some things that you're not going to get any other time. So I thought it was a win-win situation for me and, and uh, the Seminole players and coaches. Um, after a season like that, you just you never want to have that happen again. So us at camp, we're have, we're doing everything in our power to be the best we can be. That's just going there every day, and getting it done. I mean, starting my ninth grade year, it was hard, man. Playing playing under this man. <laughs> made my life crazy, man. But then building up before I transferred to Glad, I came back. When I realized I wanted to play for him, he was a great dude. Coached me well. He was like, he's like one of them coaches that he's gonna get on you, but it's always it's always love at the end of the day. Once he gets on you, it don't take it as like personal. Don't bring it home or nothing. Just keep it right there in that family. So I feel like we're here, we're playing for Coach Brad. Best thing ever I ever did, really, personally. Coached in college. So there's a huge resume there for all the similar district teams. Um, you know, with the addition of LCA back, you know, years ago, I think it's become one of the most competitive districts there is. I mean, you look at you look at the rise of Rustburg, you look at uh, EC Glass, you know, you look at the other teams that are in this district and, and the success that each and every year, it's just a tough district. You cannot look down the district and, 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 and count, hey, man, that's a definite win. That doesn't happen in this district. And I think that's a tribute to, to our, our uh, coaches in this district and the players. When I mean, the Jug Bowl is at least a couple games down the line in the middle of the season or at the end of the season, there for a while it was game 10, game 9. That was awesome. Um, but, you know, I think that that's been something we've made into something special and uh, excited about that. We're trying to do a little bit more with our assistant superintendent this year. Uh, Dr. Wodica has talked about, you know, trying to do some different things to merge some teams and do some, some different stuff with charity before the game and kind of make it just more than a, than a football game. So. But I have to be honest with you, I haven't really looked at exactly when that date is.